tried these, mate. What's that? Eddie Hall's smelling salts. From that far away. That's why I don't use smelling salts. <laughs> oh God. Did you do it? What's that? Way by him too. Four. No, stop that. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Right, we are back in the gym. We are back on prep. It is day one, training for the Royal Albert Hall. That's all you need to know. We're spicy. Coming for that podium, motherfucker. Uh, axle deadlifts and then some accessory stuff. We're not going to be as probably explosive not to just now. We're still getting over the jet lag, but we're going to, yeah, we've got numbers to hit. We hit the numbers, it's all good. Look fired, I need to go, let's go. homage to the crab that was Mitchell Hooper working on my crab walk. Coming for you Mitchell boy! <laughs> Come on, Tom. They're all different stiff bars, like an axle, but it's just not thick. Elephant bars just a, well, elephants are big, elephant bars massive, so. There's all different pulls, but I love the axle bar. Um, Last time I did axle bar, I drew fish on reps and deadlifts, so yeah, it's just uh, training it hard and you get better at it. It's good to have a good proper prep on it. Um, well, I think it's going to be in Royal Albert Hall. There should be some sort of deadlift, but even if it's not, training on a stiff bar gets your strength up so much more than training on a flexi bar, so yeah, it's all good. I had two sets of eight, as I did today, did that, it's nice and light, but you now we're like, what, eight weeks out, there's no point rushing the deadlift by the time competition comes, I'll be back after 10, 12 reps on the clump weight, so that's a go, no suit on for the next four to six weeks as well, get raw power up, because we've got Royal Albert Hall and Shaw Classic and then, you know, Glasgow and Rogue, so there should be a lot of deadlifting and you're not allowed to wear a suit at Shaw Classic, so we need to get strong, no suit on and see what happens, but yeah, First week, I mean, if that felt heavy, there's something wrong, but it's all good. Thank you guys. And now we can watch Luke do a master class in deadlifts. Over to you, Mr. Stilton. Oh, 
So we did deadlifts there, this was sets were 260 um, and then I just finished off with 300 at the end just to get a wee feel of the actual bar so uh, first session into it feels okay um, and now we're doing some box jumps and that's that. As you guys know it's the first of May so we gotta turn it around too. Pinch, punch, first day of the month. Okay. Fifteen. So this week's not really, we're just going to see how the body feels really, you know, and no point pushing it too heavy, heavy. so we've got 8 reps, 260 for 2 sets, getting the tank kind of condition kind of back in and we're going to raise the weight every week as well. There's not a rush, much of a rush to get to Royal Albert Hall, we've got enough time to peak and do it right. So yeah, this week's just about playing it simple and see, see you know, where we are and then next week we start kind of 
ramping it all up. But yeah, it's first session done, first session good, motivated and ready to go. Ramp it up, we shall. If you haven't seen a ramp like the Stoughton brothers coming into the Albert Hall and you haven't seen a ramp, we're gonna ramp it. Ramp it, ramp it like the rampant lion of Scotland. We're coming. We'll see you there. Stay safe, smile, and stay safe. Man. Don't you ever stop ringing that little bell. Ding dong, ding dong. Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the walk quiz. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stone. Right, guys, today's tutorial is 